Hello everyone! Right in front of me is the x Bank P7. My filming schedule today is super tight, so let's do a quick walk around and share as many details as possible. This time, we are only doing a static review. The driving test will have to wait for another day. Let's start with the exterior. We are lucky to have this one and x Bank's classic moon silver finish. The all-new P7 is positioned as a smart sports sedan that looks like it's been driven straight out of the future and back into the real world. With these proportions, this like design and that silver paint, it really has a futuristic vibe, like something straight from a sci-fi movie or a racing game. Now check out the size of this thing. It's just over 5 meters long, almost 2 meters wide and only 1.4 meters tall. The wheelbase are roomy 3 meters. All of these numbers are bigger than the old P7, but what really stands out is the height, just 1,427mm, and with the air suspension at its lowest, it drops to 1,407mm. That's incredibly low. As far as I know, it's the lowest height among any four-door pure electric sedan from a Chinese brand. Globally, only the Porsche Taycan and Audi e-tron GT sets lower. One more thing about dimensions, because EVs usually have big battery packs under the floor, their ground clearance is often quite low, so seeing the P7 this low to the ground really stands out. Now, this is the point where a lot of people start to worry, but honestly, there is no need to panic. In normal mode, the official figure for the P7's ground clearance fully loaded is 142mm, and that's actually really good for a sedan in this class. Right now, the car is unloaded. So I grabbed a quick measurement myself. It's around 150 millimeters. Pretty decent, right? Now let's raise the air suspensions. Unloaded, I'm seeing about 185 millimeters. The optional number for maximum clearance. Fully loaded is 172 millimeters. That's one part with a lot of pure electric CVs. So the P7 manages to stay low and sporty while still having impressive ground clearance. The secret? It's running the Tennis 800 volt battery pack in its class, and that's a bit of a P7 tradition. The old model had a 400 volt pack at 110 mm, and the P7 Plus now has an 800 volt pack at just 109 mm thick. The second thing is this wide body design. The new P7 is even wider than the old one, and you can really see it in this one piece stamped rear door. Look at the depth here. Then you've got these 275mm wide rear tires, which make the P7 look like it's ready to launch when you see it from the side rear angle. Up front, it runs 245, so it's a staggered setup. 245 in the front, 275 in the back. And yes, I checked with the x Bank team. This comes standard. The larger body also helps aerodynamics. The drag coefficient is just 0.201, which is among the very best in its class. x Bank's engineering team has put in a lot of work to get that drag coefficient so low. For example, the sharply angled front windshield alone cuts 6 counts of the drag. There's also the active air intake grill. 8 glossy black blades on each side. When they are closed, they can significantly cut drag, reducing it by 20 counts. They only open when extra cooling is needed. Alright, so that's the biggest stuff about the body size. Now let's talk about some small exterior design details. First up, the X-shaped front face. It carries over x signature X design team, blending the headlight seamlessly into the body lines. You don't get that old-fashioned headlamp eye look here. And it's not just for style, the P7 has 5 dynamic light language modes, giving it different interactive effects for different scenarios. Let's take a look at the P7's light language in action. The first mode is growth, the second is surround, and the third is vivid. Below that, there's also a say hi light sequence. That one has 3 animations, smiley face, shuttle, and heartbeat. The second small detail is the logo. It's beautifully crafted, almost like a piece of art. According to Xfang, it's the industry's first one-piece flat logo. When it's off, it's completely black, and when lit, it glows. The third detail is this floating license plate bracket. You can actually slide your whole hand right behind it. The fourth detail, two smart driving blue lights on the exterior. One in the classic mirror position and another just below the headlamp. And the fifth, this one's full of emotional value. The new P7 comes with an active adjustable rear spoiler. 
you can adjust the spoiler from inside the car. So let's try it out in manual mode. Right now, it's set at about 70% open. The cool thing is, the angle can be adjusted continuously, no fixed tips. So from 70%, I can bring it down to 60%, then try 30%. And when I close it completely, it slowly lowers itself back into the place. You can also control the spoiler by voice from outside the car. Let me show you. Hello, Xiaopi. Close the window. Close the window. Close the window. Close the window. It even supports the fog screen. Let's try it now. Hello, Xiaopi. Close the window. Close the window. Huh? Didn't even feel it, and it's open again. See you in the next part of this video soon.